Here we go. Bravo's dynamic duo are back. Who do I have to this time to call? The former housewives brought their big city bling and high heels down south in Luann and Sonia. Welcome to Crappy Lake. How do I look? You like it? It's hot. This is a show that's feel good, heartfelt, uh, warm, uh, you know, where we go down to help this town and, you know, we come from small towns. Um, our lives have changed, but now, you know, we're going down to help out a community and and there's a lot of fun that goes along the way, you know, and that's what we love well, about it. Well, you know, comedy. you put two together and any town like that is going to be like, are these girls nuts showing up in bling and heels and to do work? Because I don't really know if they're going to do all what they promised. I don't think they learned after they saw us staying not just a week, but five or six weeks in that little Benton motel. Six weeks to be exact. Yeah, we did extend. But um, definitely they said if they can do that, we're starting to believe in them. And they came right by our side to help us get things done. In the wild reality series, they traveled to the small town of Benton to help it bounce back from COVID. They didn't know what to expect. We got down there to get our hands dirty, to really help out. We moved furniture, we built playgrounds. Oh, no, I caught like... a catfish with my bare hands. Airing on Bravo, these uptown girls got to go to a very unique small town event. There's a festival called Testicle Festival. Disgusting. I don't want to have the testicle breath now, you know? That's disgusting. Not... When are we going to catch a catfish again in our lives? Never. When are we going to probably go to a testicle festival or Rocky Mountain Oysters? And, they come? and I'll be there because there were some good cowboys, really great horses. We'll go and you're going to taste the testicles. The this women were so... Oh, no, I'm not into the you're testicles. Next. I'm into the festicles. And the people of Benton got a big surprise when pop icon Paula Abdul came to help with their variety show. How is it with the town being introduced yeah. to you two? Oh, we needed somebody to help the dancers, and what a great surprise for these girls to get instructed by Paula Abdul. I mean, to get schooled by Paula Abdul, the icon. So we, we were thrilled. Yes, we weren't sure because, you know, she's very busy, but we know she's a philanthropist and she likes working with kids. She just happened to be flying from California to New York and so she could drop down and help us. It was amazing. amazing. And we promised her we're not wasting your time, Paul. These kids are really talented. For single girls Luann and Sonia, there was some close encounters with some country boys. I love it. It's a real goat tea. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's real men there. Yeah, but a lot of them are married they because are. it's a town, you know, small towns, it's kind of it would be kind of lonely to be alone. So I guess a lot of yeah. people are married in smaller towns, which I totally understand. Um, but we flirted a lot, and I had so much fun flirting with the fireman, and she's the one who got, you know, well, she's, within 48 her, hours. That should be Luann's next book is How to Flirt. Because me, I just jump. <laughs> Did you have sex? Holy oh, I got my pots God. clean. So this guy, Billy, that's my kind of man. We love adventure, and for Sonia and I, it was yeah. a dream job to be able to help and have fun along the way. On their next not-so-crappy adventure, they're reuniting with some New York OGs for the Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip in St. Bart's. Well, well I, I was happy to be back with Dorinda and Ramona because having filmed with Luann just reminded me how much I missed being with my girlfriends. And we all go way back, especially me, Luann, and Ramona. So that was exciting. And then to see Kelly again, so it was fun. And we go back to the same, to the scene of the crime of the pirate. I mean, how good is that? So it's kind of scary island meets the pirate story, yeah. you know? So it's, it's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of fourth walls coming down. You'll hear, you know, the real deal on some of the stories that have happened in the past. And, um, and there's always drama, and, but we have a good time. And I would say it's like, it's like good drama. It's like yeah. you can sink your teeth in. And I think people are really going to enjoy to see us back at that house in St. Bart's. What about the contrast of a small town? And then we go to St. Bart's, you know, we're talking French, Caribbean, gourmet meals, full staffed home. I mean, that was quite a day. Yeah, it was one extreme to the other. But their good time in a small town ends this Sunday on Bravo. We love you, Benton. Is that a vibrator? It's everything you need it to be.